What's up everybody and welcome to my channel where I do weekly pick a card readings that challenge you to explore all things growth. Today's topic is toxic relationships, getting over toxic relationships that you consistently attract. If you are one of my beautiful subscribers, hello, I love and adore you for your engagement. And if you are new to this channel, welcome and let me show you how this works. So we have three different piles here. You're going to take your time and you're going to take a deep mindful breath and pick a different pile. You have to keep in mind that this is a collective reading. So there are different energies watching this video. So you're going to pick up what resonates with you and leave on the table for who it belongs to. After you've taken your deep breath and you've looked at the piles and you're drawn to more than one pile, all that means is that there is more than one message out there for you. So again, we're just going to take our time. This is pile number one, represented by the root chakra. Pile number two, the heart chakra. And pile number three, represented by the crown chakra. All right, I'm going to give you a few seconds to concentrate, meditate, take a deep mindful breath, make sure the lungs feel completely, and when you're ready, let's grow. All right, again, your choices are pile one, the root chakra, pile two, the heart chakra, and pile three, the crown chakra. Take your time with your choice. You can pause right now if you need to. I will meet you at your pile. What's up, pile one? You chose the root chakra. This is about getting over toxic relationships that you are consistently attracting. Card number one. King of Pentacles. Two. The Sun. Three. Five of Cups. All right, so in the heart of it, pile one, um, you are bright and beautiful and guided by the sun. Um, you have a little bit of a self-image issue, but not too much. Your main issue is the um, losses that you've experienced in your life. A lot of it is, a, um, I see it, male energy loss, whether it be... Um, like a father figure or a um a past love or a past friendship but you've experienced some regrets with this person you've experienced some lost time with this person and um it's giving it's uh it's giving you this energy to attract this ten of pentacles type of person <laughs> who's very controlling and demanding but they're manipulative because they're suave and debonair and they got these they um they know how to talk that talk that just hits you in your ear the right way to make you feel like the sun energy again um some uh, some of them use money to manipulate so see this dapper gentleman over here he's kind of in that framework so we put him we put him in the center. And when I use uh, terms like him, he, she, um, I really try to make my readings as gender fluid as possible. So please excuse me when I say that. So take it how it resonates with you, please. Um, but this is what you're attracting is someone that looks great on the outside and that blue energy with this blue energy means that the communication hits you just right to where you fall for this type every time it's something about that mouthpiece of this king of pinnacles 
energy that you keep falling for because it makes you forget about this loss and regret and some of it is um a fear of abandonment for you guys from this male some of you it's a female energy but um not a lot of you a lot of you a shit ton of you it's it's men (laughs) it's a man um but um this is the reason why you're attracting this type of energy is because you haven't um broken away from this loss and regret from from your past fulfillment fragment excuse me loyalty All right, so we have the six here and the six here, which means um, harmony and communication. And then we have the blue here and the blue there. So um, you you communicate from a place of emotion or maybe you just you just don't communicate at all. But the way that you communicate in these relationships is a lot is, is excuse me, the way that you communicate in your relationships and this could be a relationship with a lover or with a parent or with a friend but it's your communication skills that keep you um all over the place because as you see we have fragmented here so you put yourself in situations where people will manipulate you to where sometimes you feel this way and sometimes you feel that way they'll break you down to this point and then all of a sudden they'll be making you feel this way and you have to start getting over um you are too trusting and too loyal at a fault you put your loyalty and your trust in the wrong people you have fulfillment right here in the center and you have the sun right here you are guided by the sun you do deserve fulfillment, but that too is telling you that you need to find some balance in your life. You need to start cutting out the people that don't serve you. You need to start communicating. You need to start speaking up for yourself. You are way too loyal and too trusting of these King of Pinnacle energies, of these controlling, manipulative energies. And you put your all into it. You put your all into situations, girl, that just aren't that into you. And then it's always got you feeling like this in the end because you put your all into it. It's got you feeling fulfilled, but look, your cup is still half empty, girl. It's still half empty. So we have a um, throat chakra situation going on here. Huge blockage in the throat chakra because you can't even see that you deserve this fulfillment and that you are guided by the sun because you're putting too much of your loyalties into the wrong people. Becoming a loving mirror. That's about self-love. When I was saying before, putting too much of your energy into the wrong people and not into yourself. Love comes from within. And with this throat chakra and all this blue, um, you don't trust yourself. You don't trust your intuition. Like You don't know yourself enough. To be putting so much love into another person. 
you don't know and love. See all the shadow work that you gotta do? You have some shadow work to do, pile one. Before you start pouring all your love and loyalties into these king of pinnacle energy type people that are just controlling and manipulative. Because they got that loop or whatever. Whatever. Start looking within yourself. Embrace oneness with the universe. Okay. So early when I was saying you don't even believe that you could have this balance and fulfillment because you're all fragmented, you're all over the place, because this manipulated creature has you feeling good sometimes and bad sometimes, mostly bad sometimes, but when it's good, it's so good. It's got you feeling fulfilled, but it's bullshit, boo. You need to start connecting with your higher power and your higher self. Look at that connection, barefoot. Oh, I wanna go do that right now. You need to start connecting with yourself and your higher power. And your, man, yourself and your higher power. There's that blue flower, reconnecting with that throat chakra energy that I was telling you. And we have some purple flowers in here too. So maybe we got a crown chakra. I don't see a lot of purple on the table except for this book you're reading though. A little over here. It's all in your head. So yeah, there's a little bit of crown chakra. Thank you, spirit. I appreciate you. Okay, yeah, so I see it here. The purple book we have a purple haze over here in the home space so some of this this relationship for for some of you guys this relationship is happening right now in the home um so it's constantly on your mind you're having to deal with it this poor communication and this manipulative situation this is for some of you for some of you, it's holding on to this past stuff that's keeping you out of balance. So this too is falling underneath this too. So in, in order to find this fulfillment, we have to understand that uh, we control our own thoughts. We don't, we don't have to stay in this place. And we have to be in a position where we have to stop blaming them for this being in this place. We don't have to be here, Paul One. So why are we here? Because of that, I would rather have this alone. Guided by the sun, deserving of fulfillment. But you're fucking around over here. Because of this. That's not serving you at all. At all. Extremes. Will. Beauty. All right, part one. So you know at the beginning of my videos when I say that this is a collective reading, so take what resonates with you and leave on the table. Okay, so this part of the reading is only for a select few. Some of you in your home are constantly in your headspace because of this, uh, the extremes, how hot it gets in there. Trigger warning, it gets violent at times with this king of pin pinnacle energy that's controlling. 
and you'll have to excuse my energy that's about to shift. You're going to feel it because I'm about to start talking to you a little harshly because I'm not down for that shit. You do have some self-image issues, pile one. You don't need this. This outside front. You don't need all of that. You are beautiful without all of that. Whether it be makeup, whether whatever, but you know what I'm talking about because there's too many sevens on the table for you not to understand me right now, pile one. But you don't need all that shit. Stop letting that situation make you think you need all of this done to you. You are beautiful without having to put on a bunch of shit. There's a lot of butterflies in here, meaning transformation. Some of you guys are trying to like change your whole face and body structure for this King of Pentacles energy that is not serving you. When it's in the home, it gets hot and heavy. Your highs are real high, your lows are real low, but when it gets low, low, sometimes it gets violent. And that's a no-no. Back to the collective. There's not a lot of spirit guides in this reading. Pow one. You've got one over here. It's like you only call on them when you're in this situation. You only call on your spirit guides when you let this not king of pentacles put you in this situation. That's the only time you're calling on your spirit guides. Not over here. When things are getting heavy and violent, you don't even call them in this situation. You are guided by the sun. You are deserving of fulfillment. You are beautiful. You need to find the strength and the will Blue, 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 blue. Throat chakra blocked. Meaning you have poor communication skills. When you do communicate, it's from a spicy area. And that's why your cup is half full. You blame yourself all the way, all the time, because you come from this spicy um, communication. What I mean by is when you communicate, it's always hot. It's always defensive. So you guys butt heads. And then in the end, you always feeling alone. Some of you guys are in the situation right now. Some of it is from the past and you are holding on to it because you believe it's all your fault. Because of that manipulation and control. Let me say it again. You are too loyal, too loyal at a fault to people who don't serve you. If someone has got the nerve to put hands on you, that is not your person, boo. It's not. You can argue with me in the comments if you want to. So let's pay attention here. You need to start doing some shadow work and some self-care immediately. I'm talking to the ones that are in this situation. No, I'm talking to all of you. Because we have some crown chakra stuff and we definitely got a completely blocked throat chakra. She's blocking it there, and she's draped in that blue. We got too much blue on the table. So our action steps. Pile one. Let me see if I can adjust. 
justice. So our main action step, how one, is this going within our shadow work. Through every step of the way, how one, you need to understand that you're guided by the sun and that you're deserving of fulfillment. And that you don't need to change your face, your heart, and your soul, or your body for that King of Pentacles energy over there. If it's something that you want to do for you, do you. Cut off these loyalties to the people that don't serve you. It's all about you. It's all about taking some time for you, Pau One. We're going to pick from the star seed. So we're always trying to do everything all alone, Pile One. Everything alone you try to do. But you are guided by the sun. I keep saying that. But you're also divinely guided. You have family. You have friends. You have spirit guides all over the place. Look at that. Pop, 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 popping all over the place. But you can't even see them. Or call on them. Because you're stuck over here. Because of that. Let's reconnect with ourself. Reconnect with that shadow side that we're afraid of. That dark abandonment stuff from the past. Start making connection to the divine pile one. Start calling on support for this shit. You need help here. If I'm not talking to you, then please let me talk to who I'm talking to. But you need help here. And you have it. So reach out and get it. If this reading resonated with you, please leave a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that little pink button down in the corner. It is free to join my tribe. And until next time, start cutting off that negative energy. Start loving yourself, including that shadow side. Start connecting with the divine, your spirit guides, guided by the sun, deserving of fulfillment, completely and utterly beautiful on your own. Be mindful of your growth. What's up, Pile 2? You chose the Heart Chakra Stone. This is toxic relationships, getting over toxic relationships that you're consistently attracting. Here we go. Justice. Prince of Swords. Eight of Cups. Okay, pal, too. Um, 
you are this is like an activist pile um you're very opinionated you like you want to make sure like there's fairness and equality in the world uh, you really put your voice out there to that standpoint but to a fault it's too much because you ignore your own um needs and wants and responsibilities so you focus so much on other people and other things and trying to fight the power and make sure everything's right that you don't even uh you don't take the time to care for yourself and uh take care of your own responsibilities is why you're consistently attracting uh toxic relationships it it seems to me like this is my healer group um you guys can touch people, you guys can change lives, um, but you have not worked on yourself at all. You got this spark and this fire of wanting to help and uh, provide and get the word out on certain situations and causes and make sure uh, everything is right and fair and equal, except for in your own mind and in your own home and heart and soul. You have some past um, trauma that's got you in a situation that you always feel unjustified or where you always have to feel like you're being heard or um, it's put you in this feisty uh, personality to where you're always defensive and um, I don't know how to express it more, but you're, you're mad defensive. <laughs> Because of some past trauma, some of it is childhood trauma for some of you. But um, some of you, it's it's made you grow into this person who wants to help and heal, but you haven't healed from from this trauma. So on the outside, it's all love and light, and let me help you. But on the inside, pile two. There's a little bit of depression. There's a little bit of regret from this past trauma. And it's got you ignoring what's really important. Some of you <clears throat> are so ready to leave a situation that you're in right now. You're so ready and so close. You can, the door is open. You can feel the breeze. You can see the path. But something keeps you in the situations that you're in. Something keeps you attracting these toxic relationships. And it's because you're not slowing down enough to heal yourself from your past traumas. You have not done that. How are you out here healing everybody else and you haven't even healed yourself at all? It seems like pile two. I'm not seeing a lot where you're blocked, a little bit in the crown. I'm not seeing a lot where you're blocked. But maybe because you picked this stone, it's in the heart chakra, and that would make a lot of sense with you not being able to let love in and pouring too much love out because you're trying to mask this hurt and this depression and this feeling of loneliness. We have to start taking time to ourselves to heal from our own past stuff because you are a healer. That is what you were meant to do. So the reason why, another reason why you attract toxic relationships is because spirit puts people in front of you for you to heal. But you haven't taken the time to heal yourself. So the next time you attract this toxic person ask yourself what am i what am i learning from this situation if it's nothing then it's not meant for you and you need to move on let's start working on ourselves 
self-care, stillness, meditation, deep breathing. We have to start working on some self-care, Paul, too, and stop reaching out and masking by helping other people because you never feel good about yourself in the end. It's just that instant gratification. Okay, I healed this person, but you know, I'm still feeling like this. So let me go on to the next person instead of taking time for yourself. Movement. Yep, some of you are so ready to leave this energy. And if you're ready to go, go. So, you need to start embracing some more of this energy and start putting up uh, boundaries. Because I'm, I'm getting that because some of you guys are empaths. And like you can't help but to attract these energies because you're healers and empaths and you absorb these energies. And it's always got you feeling in this funky place and you, and you don't... Either you're not protecting yourself, you don't know you're an empath, so you're not protecting yourself. And that's why you're feeling down all the time. Or because you're just doing so much for so many people that it's got you feeling drained. Because you're not taking the time for yourself. So let's get more of this masculine energy going to where we're putting up some blocks. To where we're not communicating from, from such an emotional standpoint to where we're finding some structure and some balance between our masculine and our feminine energies. Right now we're just we're using too much of the feminine nurturing energy and not enough of this warrior. Hey, I need to be left alone for five minutes so I can take care of myself so I can get out of this wonky headspace and then I'll be right with you. Playful. Yep. Yeah. So, some of you are stuck in this childhood trauma and you don't even know it. Some of you are in denial about it. Some of you guys really need to get some help and communicate with someone about that or just connect with your higher self however you want to however you want to heal from that, but a lot of you need some healing from that childhood trauma and it's keeping you in a place to where um, you take things too seriously sometimes. So uh, we need to lighten up a little bit. Some of us need a spiritual bath. Some of us need a spiritual bath with a, what's that drink? That uh, mimosa. <laughs> compassion for others. But do you see how you have so much compassion for others that you can't even see that you're hurting your damn self? That seven lets me know that you know what I'm talking about. How can you feed others when your own table is empty? Spirit is in the house. Spirit is in the house. I appreciate you, Spirit. I was just saying that earlier. Was I not? How are you out here healing people when you can't even heal when you haven't even healed yourself? from this past trauma that's got you always in here. I was just saying that spirit, I appreciate you. If I could give you a hug right now. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. You out here having so much compassion for others that it's hurting you because you're not taking the time for some self care. Your table is running. Look, look at this chaos. And you're just ignoring it. You're ready to walk away. Some of you guys, it's a chaos because you don't know you're an empath and you don't know you're a healer and you don't know why you're attracting these toxic people. It's because you're an empath and a healer and spirit is putting these people in front of you because that's your job in this world. Unfor <laughs> I don't mean to say unfortunate because I'm an empath. 
<laughs> but so it's, it's a gift and a curse. You pick up other people's energies. So if someone's depressed around you, you pick it up and you think it's you. But it's not. It's just there for you to kind of pick up so you can figure out how you can help that person. What's your love and your light that you can bring to that person at that time? It's not let me pour my whole love and light into this one person to where I'm feeling completely drained and empty at the end. That's not what spirit is asking you. Spirit is just asking you to recognize that you do have this compassion for others. And yes, do reach out and heal. But you need to heal. You need to heal. There's so much, like, the word heal is being screamed at me. This poor baby is traumatized. And you mask it by healing other people and not yourself. How to? Mm-hmm. Let's open arms to the divine, to our higher selves, to some self-love. Some of us are like real down to where we're having to fake it until we we'll make it when we when we start this healing process. Like affirmations, meditation, like having to say I am statements. Like some of you guys got to start from the bottom. You see how she's taped her wings on? Like, damn it, I'm a fairy. (laughs) I don't care what you say. So healing has to start immediately. We have to start finding some balance in our healing and the healing of others. Two, balance. Two, balance. There was another two, I thought. Yes. Two, balance. The scales of justice. Balance. (laughs) Balance. Fear. Don't let fear of the past hold you. And there's 11th, there's that too, there's that balance again. You are divinely guided. You need to come out of this space. See how your higher self is kind of trying to let you free your higher self and letting you know that you're putting yourself in this cage you need to heal yourself so you can break out of this darkness it's like you're rebirthing yourself Don't let fear keep you from moving forward, from walking out that door. Some change, some transformation needs to happen. You need to start focusing on yourself right now. You need to start doing some protection spells and whatever you want to call it protection meditation you need some you need one of these bad boys you need one of these bad boys uh this tiger's eye is my ride or die and then there's some hematite on here and i believe some black yeah black tourmaline hematite and tiger's eye it's like a it's like a trifecta of protection and abundance just right here and then we have the um onyx which and then the uh knot the protection knot right here and i just smudged them and put my intentions on them that i am protected and through me my my kids and my husband are protected and boom 
you can go throughout your day and start healing fuck again. <laughs> I meditate. I ask my guides for protection throughout the day. I protect myself. I take that deep breath and go, I am protected before I step out my front door. Because if I don't, then this is where I'm at. I go out into the world. I pick up everybody's energies, good or bad. And at the time we're in right now, it's bad. And because we have so much compassion for other people, we just want to reach out and heal. We want to help so much. We want to use this magic of our higher power to reach out to so many people when we haven't even healed from our past trauma yet. Hmm. Growth and realization. So that three means growth. So again, a lot of you are ready to go. A lot of you guys are ready to leave this energy. There's that movement. You are the key to move from the darkness to the light. But you have to protect yourself. See, look, she's doing her little breath and she's protecting herself with that light before she steps out into the world. You have to come to the realization that you are an empath and you do pick up people's energies and you need to start protecting yourself. There needs to be some transformation, a rebirth of yourself. You need to heal. You have, you've taken your higher self and you've cocooned yourself so that you can heal from this past trauma. Because like spirit says, Mm, mm, mm. See if I can adjust this for you. Here we go. All right, we are going to pick one card from the star seed. Empaths in the house. I am feeling every piece of this reading. <laughs> every piece of it. Because these just, oh, I got some black tourmaline over here too. <laughs> Protect yourselves, empaths. Protect yourselves because it'll have you feeling depressed and you'll be like, why am I sad for no reason? It's not you, it's somebody else. What does Pile 2 need to know about themselves right now today? I think I said spiritual bath earlier, did I not, Pile 2? I think I said that earlier. With the mimosa, get in the tub with the mimosa, do the spiritual bath. I think I said that. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit is in the house, Pile 2. Light body, crystal grid, transmission, activation. Mm -hmm. You need to get some. I just did this. Uh, hold on. Let me pause for one second. Okay, Pal2, this is so perfect. Because the other day I did these spiritual baths of all spiritual baths. And I just had to write down that ritual that I did. Because it was a protection ritual because I'm an empath and I'm a reader. And I 
pick up energies. And um, I was in this space, heavy, heavy, to where I was snapping on my family. And I was like, oh, I need to take a spiritual bath. So I wrote down the recipe for that spiritual bath. And it is the lemon get grass protection for that ass. All right. So why I did it is because I was feeling like shit. My strength and mental was all over the place. But here's what you'll need: a lemon, fresh sage, fresh thyme, and fresh uh, rosemary. That's what I could remember there. Um, lemongrass oil, a black candle, a white candle, and a red candle. Um, you don't need the moon water, but you'll need some Palo Santo, um, some stones, like I was saying here, um, and this YouTube or cleansing meditation music I had playing in the background. But let me tell you, after this bath, I felt like this. Like this like a million bucks if you are not a part of my facebook group you need to do so so i can get you this recipe hun because you need it you will step out of that bath and it's a whole ritual to it like that's why it's long <laughs> because it's not just you sprinkle some shit in the tub and soak in the tub like there's a whole process to it but if you want it join my facebook group and um comment or whatever i think that the video still up but just hit me up and let me know that you want my uh, spiritual bath recipe until next time please leave me your comments i love to hear from you guys start protecting yourselves in paths until next time like share comment subscribe it is completely free to join my tribe and be mindful of your growth. Hey Pow 3, you chose the crown chakra. This is toxic relationships, getting over toxic relationships that you are consistently attracting. Card number one, seven of swords. Card two, prince of wands. Three. Queen of Wands. All right, Pal Three. So you have a very commanding energy um, that could be fiery at times. Um, you get a lot of attention, and you don't know why because you're stuck in a. Uh, you have a very skewed self-image of yourself. A lot of you are suffering from imposter syndrome to where you have all of these hopes and dreams and this determination and you're succeeding at that, but you still have a very skewed uh, self-image of your, <laughs> very skewed image of yourself to where you feel like you're faking things all the time. You don't trust your intuition. You don't trust the path that you're on. You don't trust that um, you're making the right decision. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. <laughs> and because this lack of trust in yourself, it, it keeps you in a space of always being defensive and always having to prove yourself. And It's a very fiery, hot energy that comes from you, your own image of yourself. Your self-image needs to transform. You need to start seeing you how other people see you. See how these people are looking at you. This magic that you're creating, you're even a magician over here. But 
with this type of magic, it's all smoke and mirrors, and you're you're feeling like um, you're the, you're doing too much smoke and mirrors and not enough real stuff when you are doing enough real stuff. So we need to get out of this imposter syndrome because that's what's keeping us in toxic relationships. It could be us that are the toxic person in the relationship, pile three, because we're consistently battling with ourselves and our own image and thinking that we're not good enough. We have a lot of people that are vying for our attention, but we still don't think we're good enough. Strength. Honesty. Trapped. Okay, some of you guys feel like you're trapped in your relationships. But you have to start being honest with yourself that you're causing this fire. You're the magician. You're the one that makes the magic happen. So the fire in this tree, the fire boom, boom, boom that you're creating here, this Prince of Wands, Wands meaning fire, the candle, you're in denial that you could be the, um, you could be the toxic person in this relationship. You're feeling trapped but you have the power to put out these fires. You're feeling trapped, but it's it's the people around you who are really feeling trapped by this um, fiery energy that you're throwing at them all the time because you're so defensive, because you're feeling like an imposter and you're feeling like you're having to prove yourself all the time when it's not that serious. Nobody's asking of you what you think they're asking. You're putting yourself out there like that. Nobody's asking you to do all that. Nobody's asking you to do all of that, pile three. So let's settle down, put out the fire, open the cage, let love in, let love out. Let's start trusting our intuition more. Start trusting that we're on the right path. So we can stop feeling trapped in these relationships. There's no trap. It's all in your head. The trap is. Pile three. Whatever you choose will be correct. So some of you guys don't trust your intuition at all. Because we have strength over here with the eight. And we have the eight over here. Falling underneath the seven with your intuition. So you need to find the strength to start being honest with yourself that you are divinely guided. You are divinely guided. So whatever decisions that you make will lead you to success. So if you choose to stay in these relationships, it is up to you to put out the fire. Alone, but not lonely. Solitude. Rest, relaxation. We need to go from this color to a little bit more stillness. 
more stillness. Remember I said nobody's asking you to do all this? Pile three. We need less of this, this, and more of this. To where we're bringing love in and we're loving ourselves. Putting out this fire that's burning. Figuring out why that fire is burning. Let love grow. Mm -hmm. So while you're over here feeling trapped, it's because you're not letting love in. You need to start leading more from a loving communication and less from this fiery wands communication. Hunger. We got a lot of it. Darkness. Excuse me. Wisdom. Okay. You are so smart and so determined and so beautiful and you have this energy to attract and draw and you got this drive and determination. But it keeps you from seeing the lighter side of things. It keeps you from um, slowing down and leading from your heart space instead of your head space all the time. So, we need to have that solitude. See that beautiful blue there? We need to start embracing more of this energy and less of that fiery energy. See how the darkness kind of, that balance there? You need to find balance between these two. You need to understand that this drive is leading to good places. And stop thinking that you're an imposter. Some of you guys really need to educate yourself about imposter syndrome. Because you're in the thick of it. You get all this attention and you don't know why. But you put yourself out there at the same time, which is crazy. Something about your love life needs to change. Some of you need to find structure and balance between this fire and this darkness, or the stillness and solitude. We need to find balance between doing all of this and doing more of this. We're on the right path, start trusting your intuition, start knowing that you are the expert in your field. So the reason why these people come to you and are drawn to you is, be is for a reason. You need to stop being in denial about that. So these people are drawn to you because there is something that you can teach them and or give them, but instead you're snapping at them because you don't think you're worthy. Start understanding that you are worthy. These people are drawn to you for a reason. And you're approaching them with this fiery energy. 
but because they're drawn to you and you're approaching them with this fiery energy they're feeling feeling drawn uh, torn and a little trapped by your energy because they're drawn but yet you come with this spicy fiery energy and not from a place of love so as soon as you start coming from a place of love knowing that you're worthy loving yourself then we'll find the balance then it won't be hot sometimes and cold sometimes this reading will have more of a balance of reds and blues okay we're gonna pick from the star seed one card from the star seed let's not be in denial about us possibly being the toxic person in our relationships. It could be you. What does Pile 3 need to know about themselves right now today? What does Pile 3 need to know right now? What does Pile 3 need to know right now about themselves today? Come on. Oh, there you go. Weight of the world. So yeah. People are drawn to you and you don't, you don't set up good boundaries. So this person is loving, but yet they got that bubble up, that bubble of protection. So you need to let go of this fiery energy. I really haven't gotten down to why you have this fiery energy besides your drive and determination and your constantly having your headspace in the future and, and uh, your passion for the future. But when people do approach you with their problems and stuff, you don't have to pick it up either. So let go of the fire. Let's find some balance of what you're picking up and what you're putting down. Let's start setting love boundaries with all these people that are drawn to you. Because this drive is leading somewhere fast. This drive, this hunger, determination, it's leading somewhere fast. Don't let your fear of success let you push people away and be so mean and feisty to people. Boundaries within yourself and with the people around you. If this reading resonated with you, I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. Let's stop being in denial about possibly being the toxic person in our relationships because we, uh, we're we too focused on ourselves and our future and it gives us anxiety and uh, let's uh, start studying uh, imposter syndrome and realizing that you are enough. There is a reason why people are drawn to you. Approach them with a loving energy. 
Until next time, POW3, be mindful of your growth. Watch them grow, perceive devote. This is the seed, light the show. Watch them grow.